Hello everyone, uh, this is Aurindam Ghosh. I have already introduced myself in some of the previous videos that I am an assistant professor in the Department of English, uh, Krishna Chandra College. And this particular video is uh, the fifth lecture on uh, feminism, uh, which is uh, primarily meant for the students of the Krishna Chandra College, the English honors students of the Krishna Chandra College. And uh, uh, this particular video is for the sixth semester discipline specific elective three. So uh, in uh, the previous videos, in the first, second, uh, third and the fourth videos, uh, I talked about the development of feminism, the definition and scope of feminism. Uh, I uh, also uh, talked about, uh, about the basic concepts related to feminism, uh, concepts like uh, gender, concepts like what is sexuality, uh, what is patriarchy and other things. I also uh, talked about the representation of the female rage uh, and the representation of the femininity in art forms. I talked about uh, androgyny, essentialism, equity feminine and various forms of religious and philosophical roots of patriarchy. Uh, then I have discussed about uh, various waves of feminist thought, the first, second and the third wave feminism. Uh, uh, I also talked about the characteristic features associated with all these uh, feminist movements. Today, uh, in this particular video, uh, uh, I will begin the uh, French feminism, the French feminist thought or the known as the French radical feminism. Uh, uh, these are uh, some of the few things that you can see that I have discussed already with you. Uh, some of the works of Mary Wollstonecraft. A vindication of the rights of the woman, uh, the work of John Stuart Mill, the subjection of the women, and of course, Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own, which is a very important text. Uh, 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 we can say that it's one of the key texts in the formation of the literary criticism school of feminism. And uh, then I, of course, talked about Simone de Beauvoir, a famous French writer and intellectual uh, who, for the first time, said that one. Uh, uh, doesn't born as a woman, but rather becomes a woman. Uh, she was talking about this entire becoming process uh, of being a woman. Now I, I talked about Vita Friedman, I talked about Shulamit Firestone's The Dialectic of Sex, The Case for Feminist Revolution, a key text for American radical feminism of 1970. I talked about Kate Millett's Sexual Politics and uh, the basic principles of Marxist feminist thought and Elaine Showalter's gynocriticism. Gynocriticism is very important for examination. So my today's lecture will primarily focus on French feminism. What is it? Uh, what's the uh, basic characteristic of French feminism and how it differs from other uh, school of feminist thought? So let's begin. French feminism, uh, many critics say that the word French feminism is a misnomer. It's uh, not a proper term. Uh, many said that, uh, uh, many called it as French radical feminist, almost a revolutionary way of thinking about feminism. But major most critics agreed on the thing that uh, it can be called as French post-structural feminism. Why post-structural? I'll discuss it. But this is a particular school of feminist thought that developed in the 1970s, 1980s, uh, up to the 1990s in France and uh, uh, it is uh, distinctive and uh, different from the Anglophone feminism in the sense that it is much more philosophical and much more literary in nature, uh, which Anglophone feminism uh, is much more, uh, 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 is much more non-philosophical and non-literary in its approach, uh, much more activist in its approach much more practical, uh, much more political in its approach, while French feminism is much more philosophical in its approach. So why French post-structuralist feminism? Because French feminism takes post-structuralism as its theoretical framework and combines with it and uh, wants to see whether a literary work, a work of literature has successfully used uh, the mimesis uh, uh, the process of mimesis on the image of the female, how a literary work represents a female. Now, uh, why the why it, it, it is called French post-structuralist feminism? Uh, 
in the structuralism, we have already seen uh, the, the, some of the basic doctrines of structuralist thinking. Fardinand Risasu already said that our entire world has been constituted by the workings of the language. The, our entire world is constituted through how we use our language in daily life through the use of the signifier and the signified. So for structuralists and for that matter, for the post-structuralist, language is a very key tool in constructing the world. And these post-structuralist feminists for the first time, they said that language is also the tool for domination, for hegemonization on the part of the patriarchy, that the patriarchal machinery is operating through using this language as a means for colonizing women as a means of controlling the women. So language becomes a very key argument in case of the French post-structuralist feminists. They said that uh, this uh, entire ideological discourse of patriarchy has been controlled through language. Who are the French post-structuralist feminists? Three uh, major names uh, comes up and they are uh, Julia Kristeva, Helen Sixius, uh, and uh, Lewis Irrigan. Uh, they are considered as the mother figures of post-structuralist feminist theory. And since the 1990s, these three together with uh, Bracca Eitinger have considerably influenced the, this entire school of French radical feminism and French uh, psychoanalytic school of feminism. They have coined this term known as a creature feminine. A creature feminine actually literally means women's writing, but uh, it's actually a philosophy that promotes women's experiences and feelings to the point that it strengthens their work. It is a strain of the feminist literary theory that talks about that how a woman can, uh, can embrace a form of madness, can embrace a form of insanity. And through embracing this form of in insanity, she can dislocate and dismantle the patriarchal structure of language. According to this uh, French post-structuralist uh, feminist school, language is essentially a discourse controlled by the masculinity. And hence, in order to dismantle this form of logical structure of language, a complete chaotic mess. Essentially, a feminine mode of thinking. Because the patriarchy has been marginalized properly, illogical, emotional, and emotional. essential process of marginalization. She took a weapon, he said, she took a ostrich, he used to put the French post structuralist feminist school. There are main proponents. According to them, uh, these uh, the, 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 the female should actually use these forms of chaotic thought in order to deconstruct the very image of the women created by the patriarchy. Take the concept of a chaotic thought, a chaotic language. Women should write their own language through their body, through their bodily fluids, through, uh, through the various uh, uh, caverns, through the various emotions uh, that reside within the uh, various cavities of the female body. Tar Modhidiya Likha. Tar Modhidiya Demi Likta Bari Taloi patriarchal construction take dismantle Kote Bari. H.I. Prothom Helen Sixius in her famous essay, The Laugh of Medusa, published in 1975, she wrote uh, in this particular manner and she said that women must write herself, must write about women and bring women to writing, from which they have been driven away as violently as from their bodies. A creature feminine blesses experience before language. Experience your own bodily experience, your own practical experience becomes much more important than language and privileges the anti-linear cyclical writing so often frowned upon by the patriarchal society. Essentially, it is anti-linear in nature. It is not structural. At a strict pattern, it can be cyclical, uh, 
it can move through various vicious cycles in its own way amon at the pattern and the network create korte chan jeta essentially female in nature essentially feminine chaotic in a complete mess dohik joibi lekha jeta deho diye lekha hobe tar kotha prothom french post structuralist feminist ta bolte aram kore so structuralism which always talks about uh, the the that uh, language constitutes our own world she idea that post structuralism which talks about that the relation between the signifier and signified is essentially uh, destabilizing in nature language is a stable system no unstable system shekhan theke french post structuralist feminism shekhan ki bolche shekhan bolche that the language is essentially patriarchal in nature because uh, already post structuralists have said that language is a part of the ideological discourse of the society language is not a proper mode of not a proper tool of communication but rather it's a tool of deception so jodi society er discourse er part of hoy language the deception er part of language tale <clears throat> definitely society a major most discourse control which is patriarchal so essentially language is patriarchal in form so language jodi patriarchal in form hoy structure hoy tale tale deconstruct korar jonno kichu dorkar madness insanity j taboo through the women the top press kora hoyeche dirgho din dore from the 18th century 16th century 17th century 18th century onwards witch hunting kora hoyeche diner por din dore europe er ekta birad boro portion er women the witch bole tag kore puriye mara hoyeche europe and america te jodi sandra gilbert and hoover's mad women in the attic poro chire kotha guma dini study of the female 19th century imagination uh it talked about how uh, pregnancy uh, has always been related with hysteria hysteric notions of thought the word hysteria has actually been originated from the greek word hysteria which means womb uh pregnant obostai concept kor obostai the lack of various forms of macro and the micronutrients uh, created this sort of imbalance in sodium and the potassium which is very natural for a woman ebong tokhon kar dine to alada kono medical facility o chilo na er phole diner por din dhore 19th century 18th century te women der ke birar boro boro castle e rekhe asha hoto aristocratic of course aristocratic blue blooded uh, uh, people er eta korto rekhe ashto tader ke society theke marginalize korar jonno alada kore jate shekhane giye tader khali ta brain thik hoy kintu ekbarer jonno এই যে একটা এসেনশিয়ালি এই ল্যাক অফ নিউট্রিয়েন্টস ইনসাইড দ্য বডি তাকে একবারও মেডিক্যালি এক্সপ্লেইন করার চেষ্টা করা হতো না তো এই যে হিস্টেরিক বলে একটা উইমেনদেরকে ট্যাবু দিয়ে দেবা তার এগেইনস্টে দাঁড়াতে গেলে কি করতে হবে এমব্রেস করতে হবে ওই এসেনশিয়াল মেল ট্যাবুটাকে যে ইয়েস আই এম হিস্টোরি ইয়েস আই এম ম্যান হেন্স আই উইল রাইট ইন আ কমপ্লিট কিওটিক language in a complete chaotic mess which you will not able to understand tai the a patriarchal linguistic construction ke language as a mode of communication this very notion ke attack kore etai hocche french post structuralist thoughted at the main premise ei je ami bolchi a creature for benign places experience before language and privileges the anti linear cyclical writing so often frowned by the patriarchal society so and helen sixus herself said that and i quote that women can either read and choose the women can either read or choose uh, um, sorry or choose to stay trapped in their own bodies by a language that does not allow them to express themselves by a language that does not allow themselves to express themselves or they can use the body as a way to communicate and she describes this writing style as a creature thing so women can remain silent can read a lot of things and uh, remain trapped inside their own bodies or they can use their body as a way of communication they can use their body as a way of expression chaotic expression. insane mad expression eta yocha friend feminist uh, thought er ekta mool boishishto 
and it completely uh, differs from other form of feminist school because its origin is essentially philosophical in nature because structuralism take post structuralism is a complete philosophical shift about she post structuralist student notion of language a french feminism in west culture so french feminist theoreticians in particular in seeking to break down conventional male constructed stereotypes of sexual difference have focused on language at once the domain in which such stereotypes are are structured an evidence of the liberating sexual difference which may be described in a in a specifically women's language so they thought that that they always seek to break down this conventional form of male constructed stereotypes and they have focused on language at once as the domain in which such stereotypes are being structured so language is the main primary tool is the domain in which such gender stereotyping is being constructed আমি যখন বলছি যে তুমি রাত্রির আটটার পরে বাড়িতে ফিরবে না রাত্রির আটটা এমন একটা সিগনিফায়ার হয়ে যাচ্ছে যেটা একটা এসেন্সিয়ালি ট্যাবু গিভেন সিগনিফায়ার ফর এ ওমেন রাত্রির আটটা একটা থ্রেশ হোল্ড পয়েন্ট অলমোস্ট যা যেটাকে ক্রস করা যাবে না একটা একটা এসেন্সিয়াল পয়েন্ট অফ থ্রেশ হোল্ড যাকে তুমি কিছুতেই টপকাতে পারবে না টপকালেই তুমি ট্যাবুল হবে তুমি ট্যাবু হবে আইদার এজ আ্যাড ওম্যান আইদার এজ আ্যারেক্টারলেস ওম্যান ওর আদার থাউজেন্ড ওয়ার্ডস দ্যাট পেট্রিয়ার কি কলড উইমেন ইন ভ্যারিয়াস ওয়েজ সো এইভাবে থ্রু ভ্যারি কি তুই চুরি পড়েছিস না কি পড়েছিস চুরি পড়ে যাচ্ছিস হ্যাঁ এই যে চুরি পড়া চুরি পড়া তো কোনো খারাপ কাজ নয় কিন্তু যে চুরিকে আমি একটা অন্য সিগনিফিকেশন দিলাম একটা অন্যভাবে দেখতে শেখালাম একটা মেল পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ থেকে তাকে একটা নেগেটিভ ডেরোগেটারি পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ দিলাম সে দিনের পর দিন ধরে দেখে এসছে যে মা তার মা চুরি পড়ে কিন্তু সেটাকে একটা অন্য পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউ থেকে তাকে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করলাম এই যে ভেরি ওয়ে অফ রিপ্রেজেন্টেশন অফ উইমেন অ্যান্ড দেয়ার চুরি এইটা থ্রু দিয়ে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অপারেট করছে এবং এইটাই এর থ্রু দিয়েই জেন্ডার স্কিলিও ট্যাকিং হচ্ছে মার্ড কো দর্ড নেই হোটা যন্ত্রণা হয় না ভূষণ দেখি কোনো ধরনের যন্ত্রণা হয় না যন্ত্রণা কোনোদিন দেখাতেও নেই এক্সপ্রেসও করতে হবে না যে যন্ত্রণা হচ্ছে কারণ সে পুরুষ তো এইভাবে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের থ্রু দিয়ে এই জেন্ডার স্কিলিওটাইপিং অপারেট করছে অ্যান্ড ক্রিস্তেভা সিক্স ইউ অ্যান্ড এরিগারে হ্যাভ ফোকাসড অন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অ্যাজ দ্য মেইন ডোমেন অফ কনস্ট্রাকটিং সাচ স্কিলিওটাইপস অ্যান্ড ফর ডেম লিটারেচার ইজ ওয়ান হাইলি সিগনিফিকেন্ট ডিসকোর্স ইন হুইচ দিস ক্যান বি পারসিভড অ্যান্ড মোবিলাইজ কারণ লিটারেচারের মধ্যে এই 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 যে especially uh, if, if we see in, in, in a historical through a historical lens 18th century 19th century 20th century literature je through various ages literature operate korche tar moddhe ni prottekta age er moddhe dekhte pabo different century te kibhabe uh, male discourse male male linguistic discourse change hoyeche ebong kemon kore representation of the female through these pages of history black and lesbian feminists in america and elsewhere have developed Uh, or critic these ideas in relation to the ever more complex positionings of those whose difference is over determined by race and sexual preference another very important thing that uh, entered uh, into this uh, french school of feminist thought is the recognition of the difference because language is essentially a system of differences as the post structuralists have already said and structuralists also said that and hence this recognition of the difference the most of women all the women are not the same the word woman or women is not a singular or a, an unified construction it's not a very stabilized system for example like a gay a, 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 a bisexual woman or a transvestite woman a lesbian woman uh, are different from the white woman a black woman is different from a white woman তাদের প্রত্যেকের চাহিদা তাদের প্রত্যেকের সমাজের কাছ থেকে চাহিদা দাবি ডিমান্ড কমপ্লিটলি ডিফারেন্ট একটা হোয়াইট ইউরোপিয়ান ওমেন যেভাবে ওয়ার্ক স্পেসে ফিট করা হবে একটা ব্ল্যাক ওমেনকে হবে না একটা ইন্ডিয়ান ব্রাউন ওমেনকে হবে না দেয়ার পজিশনস আর এসেনশিয়ালি ডিফারেন্ট কারণ তারা ডিফারেন্ট ওয়েতে জন্মেছে তারা ডিফারেন্ট ওয়েতে পৃথিবীতে এসছে ফলে এই যে রেকগনিশন অফ ডিফারেন্স অলমোস্ট লাইক ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দ্যাট 
uh, for example, this particular mobile is different uh, from this book because of its very linguistic construction. And in the same way, uh, a, a black woman is different from a white woman because of its genetic, social, cultural construction, cultural, social position. That's no different. So the difference can recognize is French feminism, French post-structural feminism. Anno paraborti kare shakta third wave feminism er agiya ekta unno chhara nilo intersectional feminism, uh, eco-feminism, various other forms of feminist school of, schools of thought emerged uh, uh, post 1990s, uh, post 1980s, etc. So I've already discussed about this. So in French feminism, hysteria was hailed as a specifically female transgressive language. So what is hysteria? Hysteria was generally thought to be a mental disorder specifically assigned to the women, women of the 18th century and 19th century. The word hysteria has been derived from the Latin and the Greek word hyster, which means the womb, the space, the, 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 the spatial cavity that resides inside a female body. Sheikhan theke a madness to naki ashe. Bohu 18th and 19th century medical treatise were che a hysteria niye. Specifically assigned to women. Theke socially seclude kora, socially marginalized kora, prescription portent kora che a medical treatise. So, eight dinier por dindure taboo kore because of lack of some nutrients inside the body. It had essentially patriarchal society court che. Tar jo no take je taboo kora hoche. As a way of celebration, French feminist school of thought. As uh, I, uh, I told my students in the class always that you have to remember that modernism is essentially uh, a way of seeing things in a very uh, sorrowful manner. Modernism is all about lamentation. The center cannot hold. Uh, T.S. Eliot's proof of love song of G. Alfred proof of let us go then you and I when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. The evening is compared to a patient etherized upon a table. In the backdrop of the first world where everything uh, almost seems uh, very chaotic, everything almost seems in a very disorderly way uh, uh, and uh, the modernists have seen uh, the objects of the world in a very sorrowful manner. There is always this undertone of lamentation that is operating inside all forms of modernist discourse. Dhorte parchi na, center ta ke kichu dhi dhara gatche na, center ta chik mo to hold kote parchi na, puro system ta ke no crumble down kuchche, the plasters break and the peers are crumbling in a situation. Kintu post-modernism is all about celebration. Postmodernism is all about uh, that we will swim into the fluid of uncertainty. Amra the uncertainty fluid is not our problem. Tar kotha shi prathamma postmodernism bolbo. Postmodernism me text er modhe waiting for goro to mana karite poro chow. The goro jono apet kha korche. Goro ke jane na who is goro? Don't goro can be anything. Goro can be ambition. Goro can be God transformed into dot. A goal can be your CBC's examination, goal can be your result, everything, your future. non challenge. Uh, and hence the various devices of pastiche and uh, various forms of parody, uh, genres of parody emerges in this postmodernist form of literature. So modernist literature is essentially a form of lamentation. But in postmodernism, post-structuralism continuation is essentially about a form of celebration. So hysteria uh, in this post-structuralist school of feminism has been hailed as specifically a transgressive way of language. It, it has been celebrated. It has celebrated historic. Then I will celebrate. It has been uh, hailed as a specific transgressive language, as a form of transgression, as a form of subversion, the traditional notions of patriarchy. It has been hailed as chaotic, associative, as an antidote to literary styles and modes of philosophical reasoning. The Enlightenment, the Renaissance, all these uh, ages uh, have been typically associated with a form of male or masculine reasoning. Masculine Enlightenment. Chirokali, 
এনলাইটেনমেন্ট থেকে রেনে সংস্থাগুলো প্রত্যেকটাই কেই এই এই যে ফর एग्जांपल ডেকার্টস আই থিংক देयरफॉर আই অ্যাম দা থিংকিং কজিটো ব্ল্যাক সিনশিয়ালি মেল রিজনিং এই দ্যাট ডিফাইন্ড উইমেন অ্যাজ ইনফিরিয়র টু মেন যেটা কথা আমি লোগো সেন্টেন্স আমি বলছিলাম লোগোস মিন্স দ্য ওয়ার্ড অফ গড হু ইজ গড গড ইজ আ ইজ এন এসেনশিয়ালি ম্যাসকুলাইন ফিগার হু ক্রিয়েটেড ম্যান কোট অ্যান্ড কোড ইন হিজ ওন ইমেজ বাট আ ফিমেল Eve is being created from the reed cage of Adam. So she's a, always a derivative character, always a supplementary character, always an inferior character. But the essential male philosophical reasoning and logic ke that a woman that always has treated as inferior, that is her qualification. By which way? By celebrating the opposite of patriarchal rationality as women's imaginative and intellectual sphere. if rationality is the sphere of the patriarchal domain then imagination and intellectual freedom is the domain of the french feminism or or uh, is the domain of the female they alienated many women who felt that this position was a stab in the back the long standing struggle to have women's rationality recognized so they have talked about this french feminist thought about strategic essentialism that a woman's body determines not only her identity but also mode of writing and thinking fundamentally different from and in revolt against the masculine modes only through body joibik lekha deho diye jodi likhte pari my own body reveals my own identity my body represents my own identity and hence my uh, body will also represent my expressions my thought my mode of writing so they have talked about using body as a way for using body as a mode of writing the french feminist thought uh i have so already discussed about the various characteristic features of postmodernist french feminism then uh, let us move into one of its very primary important thinker and she is julia christeva julia christeva born in 1941 uh, she is still alive uh, almost a celebrated academic superstar almost like derida derida song action a boyo likhechen she is a bulgarian french philosopher literary critic semiotician psychoanalyst feminist now even a novelist she is currently an emeritus professor at the university of paris didero uh, she is uh, uh, an author of almost more than 30 books including powers of horror famous book tales of love black sun depression and melancholy proofs and the sins of time etc she wrote some of the uh, famous books on uh, french feminism and uh, her sizable uh, body of work includes uh, various essays various uh, uh, concept various essays on various uh, unique conceptions like intertextuality see for the first time uh, coined the word intertextuality uh, semiotic symbolic abjection uh, she worked on the field of the literary theory criticism psychoanalysis biography autobiography and various other fields almost uh, in all the fields of social science and humanities so uh, so let us have a look into uh, her key works and the key terms uh, coined by her so first this symbolic and the semiotic now uh, let us have a discussion on uh, what symbolic and semiotic is before discussing this uh, conception of symbolic and semiotic we have to understand what lacan jacques lacan another famous psychoanalyst post structuralist uh, uh, and uh, uh, a major thinker uh, of psychology what he uh, thought about this uh, symbolic and the semiotic first let me uh, clearly uh, say that semiotic please do not uh, have a confusion between semiotic the word semiotic used by christopher and the semiotic used uh, and the school of the semiotics uh, used by uh, sasur and cs plus semiotics is a school which talked about the study of science chinno bigyan semiotics ke bola hai it talked about the study of science tar shonge a particular use of semiotic is completely different semiotic here is a specific stage 
in the development of a child at a shishur development at the semiotic at a, at a different stage so sasurian semiotics and this semiotic is completely different now we have to understand what laka said about the development of a child jack laka a famous uh, french philosopher for the first time propounded about the theory of the imaginary the symbolic and the real what is imaginary imaginary is uh, a child's stage in the growth of uh, in the it's a particular stage in the uh, in his growth stage in his development from 0 to 6 months imaginary stage ki hai imaginary is the space for imagination imaginary is the space where language did not enter jekhane kono bhasha dhoke ni jekhane ekta child ekta shishu gota prithibi kei tar extension bole mone korche ekta child jokhon jonmay he did not know language and hence uh, he thought that this his body uh, his clothes his mother his table this chair they are all him এই গোটা পৃথিবীটাই তার দেহের এক্সটেনশন মা এসেন্সিয়ালি তার নিজের পার্ট পার্ট অ্যান্ড পার্সেল অফ হিজ ওন সেলফ দিস ইজ দ্য স্টেজ অফ দিস ইজ আ প্রি লিঙ্গুইস্টিক স্টেজ অ্যান্ড হেন্স ইট ইজ নোন অ্যাজ ইমাজিনারি হোয়ার দ্য চাইল্ডস মোটো নিউরন হ্যাজ নট বিন প্রপারলি ডেভেলপড আ চাইল্ডস নিউরোলজিক্যাল স্ট্রাকচার নিউরোলজিক্যাল কনস্ট্রাকশন হ্যাজ নট বিন প্রপারলি ডেভেলপড এর ফলে গোটা পৃথিবীকেই সেটা নিজের পার্ট বলে ধরে নিচ্ছে জিরো টু সিক্স মান্থস অ্যান্ড আফটার দিস এক্সপাইরেশন অফ সিক্স মান্থস হি এন্টার্স অ্যাকর্ডিং টু জক লাকা ইন টু মিডার স্টেজ আ চাইল্ড ফর দ্য ফার্স্ট টাইম সিন হিমসেলফ ইন এ মিডার একটা মিডারের মধ্যে প্রথমবার দেখছে দেখে বুঝলো আহ এটা তো আমার হাত এটা আমার পা এটা আমার লেগস এটা আমি দিস ইজ মাই ফেস ফর দ্য ফার্স্ট টাইম রেকগনাইজিং হিমসেলফ অ্যান্ড for the first time separating from the rest of the world this my hand is different uh, uh, from my mother this this particular spectacle is different from my father and here here enters language takuni prothom uchchhe bhasha and this entering of the language is the beginning of the symbolic order symbolize korche prottekta jinish ke iconize korche arada arada mani আমি যখনই রিয়েলাইজ করছি দ্যাট দিস ব্ল্যাঙ্কেট ইজ নট পার্ট অফ মাইন্ড বিকজ ইট ইস ব্ল্যাঙ্কেট বিকজ সোসাইটি কল দিস ব্ল্যাঙ্কেট তখন আমি এসেন্সিয়ালি বুঝি দিস ব্ল্যাঙ্কেট অর মাদার সেটাকে আমি ধরে নিয়েছি এতদিন মা আমার পার্ট সে আমার পার্ট নয় শি ইজ আ প্রাইমোরিয়াল আদার আ ডিফারেন্ট অবজেক্ট সো সিম্বলিক ইজ আ লিঙ্গুইস্টিক অর্ডার অ্যান্ড ইমাজিনারি ইজ আ প্রি লিঙ্গুইস্টিক অর্ডার so 0 to 6 months is imaginary order and after the expiration of that particular period begins the symbolic order after the mirror stage mirror stage is the basic premise through which the ego of the child is formed the i ego my own projected self has been formed for the first time so even the laka has constructed imaginary symbolic and the talked about real which is a pretty abstract thing a pretty complex thing uh, a real means uh, something which is primordial which has already always there so i will not enter into the discussion of the real because uh, for us symbolic and the imaginary the discussion regarding symbolic and the imaginary will do so christeva when she talked about this semiotic things she alludes through the lacanian imaginary thing so what is semiotic semiotic is closely related to the infantile pre oedipal babel uh, another famous psychoanalyst sigmund freud talked about oedipus complex uh, oedipus complex is a particular complex uh, in which uh, a woman is uh, always attracted to his own uh, sorry a man is always attracted to his uh, own mother uh, like the uh, uh, sophoclean greek tragedy of oedipus and uh, in electro complex also freud talks about the electro complex in which a woman has always already been attracted to uh, his father jitaro uh, ekta in film greek tragedy ache electro bole to christevas conception of the semiotic 
is closely related to this pre edipal babel je shomoye tar ego form hoyni je shomoye patriarchy tokhon shishutar moddhe enter koreni ekta non patriarchal realm ei ta hocche the realm of the semiotic and hence semiotic is a chaotic realm and hence it is musical it has always been associated with the poetic the rhythmic which lacks any form of structure and meaning because ekta child to tokhon nijeke ekta complete structure hisebe dekhte shikche na imaginary mane the area of the imagination she jane na she complete structure form kore ni she mirror stage e mirror er moddhe nijeke prothom bar dekhe ni dekhe prothom bar nijer jete structure royeche aste aste hete hete dekhlo je nijer ekta structure royeche hat ache pa ache re ekta muko royeche head ache i am different from my mother my god and hence for the first time marginalizing mother as the primordial other mother ke other bole bhabte shikhe ki the semiotic is the realm of the musical it's the realm of the poetic it's the realm of the rhythmic that which lacks any form of structure and any form of meaning so it is closely according to christopher uh, this has not been said by lacan it is closely related to the feminine because it represents undifferentiated state of pre medial stage infant the bochi medial stage that pre medial stage pre linguistic poetic uh, chaotic rhythmic musical tar shei entity r kotha bolchen semiotic ki to essentially uh, lanka je rokom bhabe uh, at a particular period ke 0 to 6 months ki imaginary bolechilen pore chhe ke change koren khali ekta bolechilen je imaginary ta sara সময় ধরেই কন্টিনিউ করে একটা একটা চাইল্ডের গ্রোথের ডেভেলপমেন্টের পেছনে ইমাজিনারিটা সবসময় আমি যখন কোন একটা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজকে একটা কিওটিক ফর্মে লিখছি একটা অ্যাবসার্ড ওয়েতে লিখছি হুইচ ল্যাক্স এনি ফর্ম অফ স্ট্রাকচার অ্যান্ড মিনিং তখন আমি এসেন্সিয়ালি এই সেমিওটিকে সাবমিট করছি অ্যান্ড সেমিওটিক ইজ অলওয়েজ এসেন্সিয়ালি ফিমেল ফেমিনাই so upon entering the middle stage the child learns for the first time as i have already said to distinguish between the self and the other and enters the realm of cultural meaning you know as the symbolic so symbolic is the patriarchal order order symbolic is the uh, linguistic is the realm of linguistic communication and hence part of the patriarchal discourse part of the societal discourse uh, has its own cultural meaning in her famous book uh, desiring language christopher describes the symbolic as the space in which the development of language allows the child to become a speaking subject and to develop a sense of identity separate from the mother so symbolic is the space which separates the child from the mother and this process of separation is known as abjection so call this process of separation between the symbolic and the semiotic this patriarchal order the separation of mother from the child as abjection abjected abjected bodies whereby the child must reject and move away from the mother in order to enter into the world of language culture meaning and the social so language is always already patriarchal in nature and the separation of the child set all form of uh, complete uh, 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 what do you say complete dissection of the bond between the child and the mother is abjection so this realm of language is called the symbolic and is contrasted with the semiotic in that it is associated with the masculine the law the structure so symbolic always refers to the patriarchal to the masculine to the law to the structure and semiotic is always already female in nature is always already feminine in nature semiotic is poetic semiotic is uh, 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 is is musical semiotic is rhythmic and lacks any form of structure and meaning semiotic and symbolic distinction distinction between the sem- semiotic and symbolic is very important it's very important we take into aste pare and christopher differs from laka in the idea that even after entering the symbolic the subject continues to oscillate between semiotic and symbolic the laka bolini 
Like I, at first thought, this uh, imaginary, the symbolic and the real are uh, essentially uh, progressive in nature. They are part of the child's development. But Kristeva says that the child always oscillates between the semiotic and the symbolic. So, who's the better choice? Semiotic kakebole, symbolic kakebole. Semiotic is essentially musical and hence feminine, poetic, rhythmic, lacks structure and meaning. Symbolic is the realm of the law, the structure, the patriarchal construction. It is linguistic essentially and hence first part of the ideological and pedagogical and other forms of discourse. Another very important topic I've already discussed that what is abjection? Abjection is the separation of the child from the mother. It's a form of the alienation of the child and the mother. So that uh, the thinking is linked to the concept of abjection is Christopher's work, which names uh, the horror of being unable to distinguish between me and not me. The horror. The child Prathambar Bujlo, Amar Mato, Amari Paat. The essential alienation from the mother, the horror of me and not me, of which the first and primary instance is the embryo's existence within the mother. For the first time, mother and child may conceive Koche. After the entering of the linguistic order, completely separate Koche. A pure process is abjection. The abject is what subject seeks to expel in order to achieve an independent identity. So the abject is what the subject seeks to expel, subjectivity, western construction of subjectivity. Abject subject ke expel in order to achieve an independent identity. Subject abject ke but cannot since the body is unable to seize both taking in and expelling waste, body fluids, excrement, bile, vomit, mucus. body fluids, excrement, bile, vomit, mucus. separate inseparable. So subject always tries to expel this abject, this abject, the true abjection, but cannot. All these Veridian terms, like supplementary, like for example, hymen, hymen uh, 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 means, can mean virginity, either can mean virginity or, con or consummation, can, uh, for example, team pan, team panic membrane can either mean inside and outside or can, can mean, cannot mean both. Uh, for example, uh, this pharmacon can mean medicine and at the, at the same time can mean poison. Abjection of I. Oscillating between subject and the abject. So the abject is there for troubled and recurrent marker bordering the clean and the unclean, the self and the other, including primarily the self and its mother. So it's a kind of troubled and recurrent marker. essential construction of the self, I, abject, abjection. So let us about sum up. So symbolic, symbolic is the realm where words clearly represents objects which is essentially logical and ordered. Uh, it's a scientific discourse. It, it represents the voice of the authority and power. While on the other hand, semiotic is pre people babble. It, it's suggestive of uh, the rhythm and the sound, contradictions, disruptions, absences, silences in language, poetic language. So, kake symbolic bole, kake semiotic bole clear, and language is constantly moving back and forth between the symbolic and semiotic. Kristeva takes a unique standpoint from Laka by saying that throughout our whole lifetime, we always oscillate between this uh, semiotic and symbolic. There is always a essential dichotomy and conflict. And meaning is not always essentially expressed in words. For example, music. Prithibir, to shresto music, money to essentially words, no, music, money to essentially lyric, no, lyrical construction, no, Prithibir, to shresto classical music. 
for example antonio vivaldi for example beethoven's seventh symphony tar modhe shudhumatro music royeche kono words nei kono lyric nei express korar dorkar pore na so this musical is the realm of the fantasy and we must analyze both the conscious and unconscious the mind and the body the cultural and the natural to make meaning and subjectivity happens through language our i concept of language it is a speaking subject and hence because language is essentially a dynamic construction our identity is not a monolithic construction it cannot be fixed ami dhorte pari na ami bahar theke dhorte pari na ami bolte hoy na amar i ami erokom ami amar amar i erokom norbe na essentially at the unstable identity এবং সে আনস্টেবল আইডেন্টি ফর্ম হচ্ছে থ্রু কনস্টেন্ট অ্যাবজেকশন বাই অ্যাবজেক্টিং দা আদার সো ফর ক্রিস্টোফার সাচ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ দা সেমিওটিক কেম ফ্রম আ প্রি রিপল স্টেট ফ্রম দা রিয়েলম অফ দা সেমিওটিক প্রায়র টু দা প্রসেস অফ কালচারাল জেন্ডার ফরমেশন কালচারাল জেন্ডার ফরমেশন দ্যাট টু দি জেন্ডার আইডেন্টিটি ক্রিয়েট হচ্ছে আমি আগে বলেছি সেক্সুয়াল আইডেন্টিটি ইজ দা বায়োলজিক্যাল ফিজিওলজিক্যাল আইডেন্টিটি ওয়াইল জেন্ডার ইজ দা সোশিও পলিটিকাল কনস্ট্রাকশন and she was aware however that relying solely on this maternal language would entail the risk of political marginalization so the shudhumatro the maternal language use kora mano ek dhoroner political marginalization er dikhe hi dewa so christopher for the first time said this and uh, christopher also talked about uh, intertextuality for the first time what is intertextuality so in order to understand what is intertextuality we have to understand rolla bert's uh, conception of the death of the author and uh, some portions of the reception aesthetic reader response theory uh, according to the structuralist language is a system language is a kind of a uh, system of patterns through which our entire society is constructed post structuralist for the first time says the language is a destabilized system but it's a system so jokuni i mean language ke at essentially system er part bolchi language ke essential pattern ba network er part bolchi ami essentially individualism ke oshikar korchi ami essentially individual originality creation of a particular thing through a uh, 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 through linguistic creativity ami eta oshikar korchi but for the first time in his date of the author said that whenever you uh, started finishing a text and give it to the reader there occurs the death of the author the death of the author is the corollary to the birth of the reader tar porei pathoker je satta tar janmo hocche ami je youtube e video ta upload kore dilam tomader ke bujhiye dilam tar pore tumra kemon kore amar ei text ta ke youtube e jekono video ekta text ইন্টারপ্রেট করবে সেটা আপ টু ইউ তোমাদের ব্যাপার তোমরা এটাকে অন্যভাবে ইন্টারপ্রেট করতে পারো দ্য স্কুল অফ দ্য হারমোনিটিক্স যেটা বলে স্টাডি অফ দ্য ইন্টারপ্রিটেশনস এটা তোমাদের ব্যাপার তো যে মুহূর্তে আমি আমি এই কথাগুলো বলছি বলে কি একটা এসেনশিয়াল অরিজিনাল কথা এই যে আমার পাওয়ার পয়েন্ট ইজ ইট অরিজিনাল নো ইট ইজ নট ইট ইজ बीन টেকেন ফ্রম ভেরিয়াস ক্রিটিক্যাল থিওরি বুকস আমি কম্বাইন করে একসাথে তোমাদেরকে বলার চেষ্টা করছি সো ফলে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ always already impersonal it is not at all original eitar kotha bart prothom bar bollo he said that language is always a, a text is always a tissue of quotations and he said that the this very identity of the author is uh, related with patriarchy author means authority control korar chesta korte niyontron korar chesta korche pirangelor luigi pirangelo eta bikkhato drama chilo in search uh, 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 six characters in search of an author uh, nandika natakta korechilo natakarer sandhane chota charitra amader kolkata bishwavidyalay amra onek emile amar amar junior chhatra nakti tara milie pirangelo junior amar beshkojin junior milie pirangelo six characters in search of an author korechilo so six characters why six karon five five is uh, the domain of the authority panch ta angul thake dhorte parchina jodi grasp korte parchina অথরের অথরিটি হাত থেকে বেরিয়ে যাচ্ছে তখনই মানে ডেথ অফ দা অথর হচ্ছে এন্ড বার্ট সেড দ্যাট অ্যান অথর ইজ এসেনশিয়ালি আ প্রোডাকশন অফ দ্য রেনেসাঁস ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালিজম ইটস দ্য প্রোডাকশন অফ দ্য ব্রিটিশ এম্পেরিসিজম অ্যান্ড ফ্রেঞ্চ র্যাশনালিজম হি সেড হি সেড দিস ওয়ার্ড অ্যান এ কোট ফিলোসফিক্যাল ওয়েতে 
তার আগে মিডল এজেস বা অন্যান্য সময়ে কত চারণ কবি ছিল কত ট্রাভেলার্স ছিল যেটা করে ইউরোপ জুড়ে ঘুরে বেড়াতো এই যে লালন লালনের গান বা আমাদের যে এই যে এত জোকস অ্যাবাউট রাজা কৃষ্ণচন্দ্র গোপাল ভাঁড় এগুলো কি কোনো রিজন ফর্মে কথা ছিল আদৌ কি গোপাল ভাঁড়ের কোনো আইডেন্টিটি রয়েছে বা এক্সিস্টেন্স ছিল হিস্টোরিক্যাল এক্সিস্টেন্স আমরা জানি না কিন্তু এগুলো প্রত্যেকটাই মানে ওরাল ফর্মে অপারেট করতো এবং কোনোদিনই এই চারণ কবি বা এই বাউলের আইডেন্টিটি রিভিলড হয়নি যেহেতু ইন্টারটেক্সুয়াল তার মধ্যে কিছু গ্যাপস এন্ড স্লিপ এজেস এন্ড ফিচার্স রয়েছে সো ক্রিস্টেভা আর গুড এগেইনস্ট দ্য কনসেপ্ট অফ টেক্সট অ্যাজ এন আইসোলেটেড এন্টিটি হুইচ অপারেটস ইন আ সেলফ কন্টেইনড ম্যানার টেক্সট কোন দিন একটা অটোটেলিক এন্টিটি নয় সেলফ কন্টেইনড নয় টেক্সট ইজ দ্য অ্যাবজর্পশন এন্ড ট্রান্সফরমেশন অফ দ্য আদার আমি প্রাইমোরিয়াল আদারকে ঢোকাচ্ছি তাকে অ্যাবজর্ব করছি তাকে ট্রান্সফর্ম করছি অলমোস্ট অ্যাজ আ পেট্রিয়ারকাল প্রসেস সো সি কল দিস ইন দ্য টেক্সচুয়ালিটি এন্ড সে সেড দ্যাট এই যে টেক্সের ফরমেশনের মধ্যে ন্যাচারালি কিছু গ্যাপস এন্ড ফিউচার থাকে সো থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ইন দ্য নেক্সট ভিডিও আই উইল টক अबाउट অ্যানাদার টু ভেরি ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট প্রোফাউন্ডার অফ দিস ফ্রেঞ্চ স্কুল অফ ফেমিনিজম হেলেন সিক্সিউ এন্ড লিউজি রিগার থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ